Well, well, well. We're back. Wednesday, August 29th. We'll be trading value date month end today. So that's going to screw things up at the fix. Uh, so be, be cautious. 5 p.m. to the end of the day. But uh, considering that's uh, 11 hours away, let's uh, let's have a look through these charts. Some interesting things are happening here. Um, Dollar Rand did end up printing that 95 down there. We thought it might take out some longs here. Uh, we did not buy low ones there because we were a bit worried about a move even lower. But this looks like a turn now. We have this nice long leg here, close near the high. And as you'll see, accompanied by a lot of other bars, this is interesting. Uh, as most of you know, uh, watching the news flow, the news flow out of South Africa is not great. Uh, there's some political problems going on there, uh, and we're a bit worried about how the market's going to react to their currency. So we are sellers of Czar. Today we are going to be buying. Uh, on a new daily high up through 25 and just be core long dollars are euro confusing day yesterday went all the way up to 117.33 the last move was basically uh, was based on the news that Germany was going to help out Turkey why would this be good for Euro? Uh, number one, the German banks are loaded with Turkish uh, debt, Turkish derivatives. Uh, they're already undercapitalized. Take a look at the Deutsche and Commerzbank share prices. Uh, that will sort of give you an idea of how fucked they are. So helping out Turkey is going to help out Euro. It was sort of like... Uh, Germany helping Turkey is like Germany helping themselves. But now it's it seems unclear, you know, now it's just the headlines today on the Wall Street Journal. They're considering helping. They're considering giving a financial lifeline. God knows what that package is gonna look like or how long it's gonna take. Um so that wore off. And now it looked like we've printed a turn bar in Euro as well after a, a pretty sizable move, 113.02 the low, up to 117.30, let's call it 430 points. Looks like we printed a turn. Also cable, it's uncanny. Uh, just printed, just touched this trend line. Kinda went through it, as you saw yesterday, we were in this area here thinking this was going to break, and then we had to cut it at 10, but on the dailies it looks just delightful, doesn't it? Um, we've already printed a new low today. This looks like it's turned, so now we have dollar czar looks like it's turned, euro looks like it's turned, cable has turned, dollar swiss is doing its own thing, the CTAs are just woefully caught long here got to figure we're going to get some sort of little douchebag move through the 200 day here just to cut these guys who last April all got beautifully long dollar Swiss held it, held it, held it why not, it's carry positive and now I'm going to throw up uh, today or tomorrow so we stay away from Dollar Swiss for now. This looks like just a market force job. Uh, when that gets cleaned out, when those positions get cleaned out, it's probably a buy again. Cross yen. We got this trend line we drew yesterday. Euro yen. This kind of dovetails with the with the turn in euro. This is the 240 uh, 240 bars. A nice looking line. It's only 2.2 times touch. Uh, we'll have to take a look at Boons today and, and and see, but it's 
selling through 90 today, 129.93, looks interesting. Aussie N also looks like a sale, ran out of gas. And then let's go to Aussie Kiwi. Of course, short Aussie uh, still pays. We scratched our Aussie yesterday because, I don't know, we got confused. We decided to break trade Kiwi up through 23, which was just retarded. Um, but core short Aussie looks like it's going to pay again. Uh, we did print a high yesterday of, uh, I don't know, 60, 62, but no follow through. We're just sitting here. The safer bet would be to wait to trade th down through 30, see if we get some risk off. Uh, but the market does look like it's turned. Let's take a look at Boons real quick. In order for Euro Yen to really work, you want Boons uh, to sort of blast higher here. Let's see where it opens. Not as convincing of a turn situation here. This downtrend coincides with the Euro Yen uptrend. We kind of want this thing to get up through uh, 162.86 for that euro yen to come into play. Finally, let's look at stocks. Doji yesterday on a very, very small range day. Uh, 06 and a quarter the high, 94 and a quarter the low indecision uh, ripe for a turn uh, and if you believe Neeson and the candlestick boys also ripe for an extension so we are not going to trade the top side on this uh, we will be trading the downside uh, if we make a new low watching that closely uh, 2894 and a quarter all right, I've said enough today. Uh, watch those lines. We got that beautiful line in uh, cable top side. If the dollar starts to weaken again, which we don't think is our base case, uh, we're going to be core short euros today, core long dollar rand, and we'll be watching this euro yen trend line. Good luck out there, guys. I will talk to you later. Ciao.